today we are talking about incense and if you don't know what incense is it's like a candle it's like a fragrance or whatever but basically it's a stick like this it can also be a cone and you light it and it comes up with smoke and it smells good i don't know how else to explain it <laughs> but i've been burning incense for a couple years now probably two or three and i love it and i'm gonna tell you about some benefits and some types i have and why i love it so much so when i first started burning incense i had no idea what i was doing i just knew that it smelled good and i wanted to try it and so i got incense cones which these are small ones i got it in the spring rain scent and i didn't know what to do so i just got a little plate and i put it on there and then i used a lighter to burn it and then i realized which i should realize before but there's ash that comes with it and it gets really messy so you definitely want to plate if you're just starting out or like me now who's much more educated um you can buy actual ashtrays this one i got at a little shop at the mall and it's really cool um but this one's for sticks and i guess you can put cones on there too but this is what i started out with and then i upgraded later to sticks which most people use i don't know if it lasts longer or which lasts longer or whatever but these are just much more conventional and easier and you can usually insert it um right there and then it burns like that like so and it's really cool and there's different types so i'm gonna tell you what types i use and for what purposes so what i use is basically just this normal big lighter um i used to have a longer one but it ran out of the lighter fluid so i got this at you know whatever your local store is but you don't need anything fancy to light it up just something very simple like this this one's one of my favorites it's white sage and it's for cleansing purposes and it smells very musky but also you definitely know the smell like when you burn it it definitely fills up the room and it's very calming very relaxing and i love it so much another one that reminds me a lot of white sage that i also really really love is cannabis and it's just very uh again musky but also very nice and very calming and soothing and along with this another one that's much more um relaxing wise and kind of a sweeter scent is another favorite of mine which is red rose and it smells a lot more like plants and a lot more like flower petals and it's very soothing and very cleansing as well but along with that um some ones i actually haven't tried yet that i have is vanilla it's kind of funny because they spelled vanilla wrong on that i don't know why they spelled it right on this side i don't know if this is another spelling of it or something but that's kind of funny to me um we also have patchouli which i've actually never smelled in my entire life and the other thing is when you buy these the way they smell when they're not burned is different from the way they smell when they're burned so i just usually ask the people who are selling it what their favorite types are i do a little bit of research online another i say all of them are my favorites because honestly they are um frankincense and myrrh it's very musky again but kind of a deeper tone rustic ish and then i also have musk and white musk which really i don't know what the difference is but i'm excited to try them all and i think it's really good for meditation which is what i use it for also if you're writing studying focusing maybe even just taking a nap just make sure that if you burn them do not leave them unattended and also be aware if there's any animals or any small children that they don't have breathing problems or that they are not close by because i know smoke can sometimes irritate people yeah. So before I knew what I was doing, I just had this plate to carry the ashes for my incense cones, but this one is a little shot glass I use to put my incense sticks in, and then I just carry it over so that way the ash falls onto that one, which, looking back, is pretty good for DIY and somebody who doesn't want to invest in a really big one. Like so you that. just insert the stick where it is directed, and you should have smoke that fills up your room, and makes it smell very nice, very relaxing, helps with studying, sleeping, or focusing on whatever you might be doing. It's also very good for meditation, which I love to use, and different types of things like that. If you're considering buying incense, I highly suggest going to your local store or mall or wherever you might go. You can also buy them online, although I can't guarantee whether the quality will be the same or the size or whatever the scent might be, but I would definitely ask what another friend recommends or at least do some research onto your scents so that way you know what your purpose is and how it smells and whether or not you're going to like it. 
I hope this was a little bit helpful and a little bit of insight in case you didn't know much about incense. I know I'm not very knowledgeable about it, but I do love it and I do think that it's a great addition to somebody in their meditation and studying.